class is for anyone who's pregnant. You could be in your first trimester or second or third. Um, I hope you're all doing well. We're just going to start um, in Sukhasana or Easy Pose. And this is a great posture in pregnancy just to sort of open up your hips a bit. Uh, from sit in the seated posture, I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together. And you might find that you need a little more space depending upon where you are in your pregnancy. So you might want to take your legs, your feet out a little more forward so you're kind of more of a, in a diamond posture. And then from here we're just going to do some circles. So you're just going to take a nice deep breath in and exhale to allow you to just circle and open your hips a little bit. We're just going to do that three times in one way and three times the other way. This is a great posture just to open up the low back, which you have a lot of uh, this hormone called relaxin in your back right now. So what it's doing is it's just doing that. It's relaxing everything to prepare you for your pregnancy. And so that's why you kind of feel achy because it's kind of pulling some of the ligaments and tendons in your back, which normally wouldn't be pulled if you weren't pregnant. Um, from here, you're going to place your feet on the floor and you're just going to uh, open your hips a little bit. So you can take the legs out a little bit wider if that feels better for you. You're just going to bring one knee to the floor, take a breath in. As you exhale, you're just going to go over to the other side. Inhale, center, exhale. So just doing this a few times at your own pace. That's it. One more on each side. One and two. Good. Slowly coming back to center and just sitting once again in the cross-legged position. Option to place a pillow underneath your low back if that doesn't feel so great for you. Or you can also lay, not lay, sorry, lean against your couch if that feels a little bit better for your back today. We're just going to do a little bit of nice deep breathing. So you can place your hand on your baby and you're going to take a nice deep breath into your belly and into your baby. baby. You can close your eyes here. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose, expanding your baby and your belly with breath. And exhale gently and deeply. With each inhalation and each exhalation, you're just going to try to lengthen your breath. So just try to slowly breathe into the belly and really make it a nice long breath in and a long breath out. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently and deeply. With each inhalation and each exhalation, just allowing yourself to relax a little bit more. As you breathe in, you're bringing great oxygenated blood to baby. And as you breathe out, you're just releasing any tension that you might be feeling. Two more breaths. Breathe gently and deeply in, really expanding baby and belly. Exhale gently and deeply. One more deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From here, you're going to place your hands on your knees and you're just going to do some nice, lovely shoulder rolls just to open up the shoulders and back. You may feel that your chest is not what you're used to, so you might find that it's getting a little heavier as you're body gets ready to have a baby and it is one of the sort of most unexpected things about pregnancy where it literally is a pain in the butt to have a chest. So opening up the shoulders is really feels good. Good. And then we're just going to do a little side bend here. So just bringing your right hand down to the floor, you're going to inhale the left arm overhead here. And let's just do some opening of the shoulder here. So you're just going to inhale and exhale. You're going to do nice rotations three times. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, I lied. We're going to do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then just bringing your arm in line with your ear. Make sure both sits bones are on the floor. You're just going to take five deep breaths here. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhalation, coming back to center, and then you're going to reach your arm over to the other side. And from here, on the left side, you're just going to do a rotation. So you're going to inhale, external rotation. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then arm in line with the ear, you're just going to take five breaths here. So you want both sits bones down on the floor and just reaching and opening over to the side, just creating some nice space for baby and you. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale, exhale. One more deep breath in. Good. And your next inhalation, slowly coming back to center. From here, we're just going to do a few neck stretches. So you're going to inhale your right arm up, place it to the side of the head. Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, just reach your head a little bit closer, or your ear right a little closer to your shoulder. Lengthen through the baby finger of the opposite hand. So you're going to take a breath in here, get nice and tall. As you exhale, just going a little bit deeper than you did before, bringing your ear a little closer to your shoulder. Inhale and exhale. From here, you're going to stay here and just, if you want a bit more intensity, you can reach through the baby finger. So really pressing into and reaching through the baby finger, you're going to feel a stretch along the side of the neck here. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhalation, just slowly floating the head. Do the same thing on the other hand, on the other side. Place your hand on the side of the head. Bring your ear a little closer to the shoulder, lengthening through the baby finger here. Take a deep breath in. Get nice and tall. As you exhale, bring your ear a little bit closer to the shoulder. Keep lengthening through the baby finger of the hand that's on the floor. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale to go a little bit deeper than you did before. Ear a little closer to the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Do one more breath at your own pace. Inhale. On your next inhalation, slowly come back to center. Take a deep breath in, look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, bring your chin down towards your chest, coming down to the earth. Inhale to look up to the ceiling. Exhale to look down towards the earth. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From here, you're going to come into an all fours position on your mat. So just making sure your hips are in line with your knees and your shoulders are in line with your elbows and your wrists. 
And we're just going to start with what I call sacral circles. So you're just going to trace a circle on the ceiling with your sacrum or the top of um, right here where your hips and your spine meet. And this usually feels really nice in pregnancy. This is also a great posture. I like to pepper classes with some of the postures that you might use in early labor or during your labor. And this would be a great posture in early labor or any time that it feels good. It's a good preparation for labor because it takes the weight off of the spine and it leaves you a bit weightless. And baby's happy here because it's almost like your baby is in a sling in the front of the body. And you're just going to take a nice deep breath in as you exhale, you use your exhalation to go around and you can make the circles as big or as small as you wish, just seeing what feels good for your body. On your next inhalation, you're going to reverse the circle going in the other direction. So breathing into the circle and exhaling to go all the way around. And just doing that a few times at your own pace, breathing gently and deeply in and gently and deeply out. And then slowly finding your way back into stillness, coming back into an all fours position once again. And we'll go into cat-cow here. So you're just going to breathe in and look towards your baby and breathe out, hug your baby in towards you as you look forward with the flat back. And breathe in, look towards your baby and breathe out, looking forward. And again, inhale, look towards your baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, look towards your baby. And exhale, hug your baby in towards you. One more time. Inhale, look towards your baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. Um, so just a word on hugging your baby in. Uh, what I mean by that is literally drawing your belly or your baby in towards you. It won't hurt the baby, it actually protects the low back, especially during pregnancy. And it's also a way to strengthen the abdominals. So sometimes I call it baby banda, or I like hugging your baby in. So um, you're going to sit back into Sukhasana or easy pose and we can just practice that. Actually, let's sit in Padakonasana. Let's sit in um, with your feet together and your knees out to the side. And then you're just going to practice hugging your baby in. So you're going to breathe into your belly and as you breathe out, just hug your baby in. Breathe into your belly and into your baby. And breathe out, hug your baby in towards you. Breathe into your belly and into your baby. And exhale, hug your baby in towards you. And again, breathe into your belly and in towards your baby. And exhale, hug your baby in. One more time. Inhale, breathe into your baby. And exhale, hug your baby in. Beautiful. Okay. Um, for our next part, we're going to come to standing. So we're going to start standing and just doing some circles here. As I was explaining when we were on the floor, circles are really great in pregnancy just because it releases all the aches and pains in your body. So just doing some nice circles in whatever way feels good for you to move. And this is also great throughout your pregnancy. Anytime you're feeling any aches or pains in your back this is, or in your hips, it's a really good way to sort of release any of that tension. And always doing one side and then the other. So just really feeling nice and open in your hips and in your back. And then from here, you can bring your, your left leg forward 
And you're just gonna do some circling here. We can also circle our wrists here, which is really nice. Sometimes it feels nice to just open the body a little bit. And I know this isn't our normal movement, but it's really nice when we're pregnant. And then you can try and reverse the circle, which your brain's probably gonna be like, oh, what am I doing here? Um, but this is also good for your brain as well as your body. Good. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just, you may find too that one side feels a little bit better than the other, and that also depends on where your baby is hanging out. <laughs> might be more on the left side, you're gonna reverse now. Might be more on the right, it just depends. They are little swimmers, so they can be just about anywhere at any time. Good. So when you've had enough of that, you're just going to slowly come to the top of your mat. And we're going to do a little salutation for pregnancy. So this is just a nice, it's like a nice little flow with goddess pose. So you're gonna take your feet so that they're a little bit hip width apart for you. And then you're gonna inhale the arms up above you. As you exhale, you're gonna forward fold. Option to bend your knees here too if your back hurts. And then you're gonna inhale the arms up and you're gonna step over to your right side, coming into goddess pose. Then you're gonna inhale up, exhale, full forward fold, inhale, stepping over to the other side, okay? So that's the movement. We're gonna do it, do three rounds. So nice deep breath in, inhale, exhale, full forward fold, inhale, arms up, exhale over to your right, into goddess, inhale, arms up, exhale, full forward fold, inhale, exhale over to your left, inhale, exhale, 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 inhale. Nice deep breath in, coming back to center. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands in prayer position. From here, you'll come right into triangle pose. So your right foot will be 90 degrees and your left foot's 180 degrees. Um, for pregnancy, we usually recommend bending the knee here so you have a little more support. And you're gonna rest your hand, or rather your arm on your leg. And your other arm can come up if that feels good for you. If it doesn't feel good and you're finding that your neck is really tight, option to also place the hand on the hip. So whatever feels better for your body at this time. So we're just gonna take five breaths here. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. As you exhale, hug your baby in towards you. Inhale gently and deeply, relax your baby in your belly. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. One more time. Exhale, hug your baby in. And inhale, relax. On your next inhalation, slowly coming back to center and stack your feet together. Take a nice deep breath in and let everything go. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So your left foot will be 90 degrees, your right foot's 180 degrees, and you're going to bend your knee here. Good. And you're going to extend the arms out. You're going to come into triangle pose for pregnancy on the left side. Elbow to the, towards the thigh or knee. Arm comes up. Remember, if you feel 
that this arm is bothering you because your shoulders are feeling tight, it's totally fine to modify. You want to make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle here so you have nice support and your bones are stacked. And then you're just going to take five deep breaths here. Inhale, relax your belly and your baby. As you exhale, hug your baby in, look up to the thumb. Inhale, relax your belly. Exhale, hug your baby in towards you. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. One more time. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. On your next inhalation, slowly leading with your hip to come up and just stepping to the center of your mat, taking your hands onto your baby. Good. From here, we're going to come into warrior two position on the right side. So you're just going to bend your knee, knees stacked over the ankle here. You're just going to take a nice deep breath in. Inhale, open your arms here. Good. Relax the shoulders down the back and look at your middle fingertip here and just take five deep breaths. Really press down into your big toe, baby toe and center of your heel and ground into the outer edge of your back foot. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Shake out your arms here. Shake out your legs a little bit if that feels good for you. And then you're going to go over to the other side. Left foot's 90 degrees, right foot's 180. You're going to bend your knee here. And you're going to inhale and extend the arms out going over to the other side, looking at your middle fingertip here. We can work a little bit with Banda here too. We did in the last, uh, on the other side, but we can here. So you're going to inhale, relax your belly and your baby. Exhale, hug your baby in towards you. Inhale, relax your belly and your baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax the belly and the baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax the belly and the baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. One more time. Inhale, relax your belly and your baby. Exhale, hug your baby in. On your next inhalation, relax, slowly bring the arms down, and just shake out the legs. Good. And we're just going to do a few leg swings, I call them, just to sort of open up your back and your hips and your hamstrings. So really simply, um, you're going to take your legs a little wider, and you're just going to extend opposite arm to leg. So it's like almost like a tin soldier. One two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Doesn't matter how high the leg comes up as long as it's straight and your foot is flexed. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Last step. One and two. Good. Take your legs a little wider here. We're just going to do a little bit of a, a kind of like a plie squat. So you're going to inhale the arms up and exhale, place your hands on your baby. Inhale, deep breath in, exhale. Press into the heels to come up and exhale. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Take your feet so they're sort of more in a parallel position. 
And take your legs out a little bit wider. From here, you're gonna inhale the arms up. As you exhale, you're gonna touch the floor and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take your legs up a tiny bit wider. This time you're just going to come straight down into squat. So in a squat you want to come down and feel the weight in your heels and towards the outside of your feet. And then you're going to inhale up. Let's put our hands on a baby squat down. One, two, really pressing into the outer edge of the feet. Three, four, hug your baby in. Five, six, seven, eight, going for ten, nine, and ten. Hug your baby in towards you. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. One more time. Exhale, hug your baby in. Inhale, relax. Shake out your legs. Good. From here, we're going to do a few squats, which, or sorry, a few lunges, not squats, we just did squats, um, which people don't always love. If you need a wall as support, that's totally fine. So you want your right foot forward and your left leg is back. The ball of your foot is off the floor and you're just gonna inhale and drop yourself down as far as you can. If your knee hits the floor, fantastic. If it doesn't, that's okay. So you can come halfway down and then up. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Inhale down, hug your baby in as you come up. Exhale up, one. Two, you can inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth if you want. Shh. Hug your baby in. Four, five, six, seven. Hug your baby in. Eight, nine, and ten. Step your feet together. Other side, left foot forward, right leg back. And you're going to inhale down and exhale up. One. Knees stacked over the ankle the whole time. Two. Hug your baby in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Woo. Good work, mamas. Awesome. Okay, from here, we're going to come down to the floor. So just coming into a seated position on your mat with your legs extended out. Um, you're going to bring your right foot to the inseam of your left leg. And then just lift your hips up a little bit. And you're going to inhale the arms up above you. As you exhale, you can clasp whatever is comfortable for you and just place your hand out in front of you here. And you're going to inhale and point your toe. As you exhale, you're going to flex your foot. Inhale, point your toe. Exhale, flexing your foot, lengthening out your hamstrings. One more time. Inhale, point your toe. And exhale, flex your foot. From here, you're just going to lengthen through the back of your legs with your toes flexed, and you're just going to take five deep breaths here. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. 
inhale, exhale. On your next inhalation, hug your baby in as you come up. And you're gonna go over to the other side, bringing your left foot to the inseam of the right, and just lifting your hips up a little bit here. From here, you inhale the arms up above you, and exhale to forward fold. Hand is here so that you can feel a little more comfortable um, or a little more supported. Inhale, point your toe. Exhale, flex your foot. Inhale, point your toe. Exhale, flex your foot. One more time, inhale, point your toe, exhale to flex your foot. From here, you're going to lengthen out a little bit more, just feeling length in the back of the leg and in the hip. And just take five deep breaths here. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently and deeply. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale, exhale, breathe gently and deeply in, breathe gently and deeply out, one more deep breath in, and exhale, let everything go. On your next inhalation, you're just going to slowly hug your baby in and come up to seated position, and then extend out your legs on out to either side. And from here, you're gonna take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, just let your fingers do the walking. So you'll just walk your fingertips out in front of you a few times. Take another breath in, and exhale to come a little bit more forward. You might find that you're a lot tighter than you expect to be, and it's okay if you are. Or you may find that you're super flexible. So Whatever it is, is totally fine. This is just how your body is at this time. So just honor that and just take nice deep breaths into the body. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently and deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. On your next inhalation, just hugging your baby in towards you and slowly coming back to center and just giving your legs a little shake. Maybe also rocking from side to side here just to release any tension in your back. From here, we're just going to do a little bit of pranayama or breathing. So this breathing is really great for when you're feeling anxiety or stress, but it's also a really great breath to do in between your surges or contractions in your labor. So it's a really wonderful breath just to know in general, especially for new mamas. So, uh, on your inhale, you're going to inhale for four counts and then exhale for eight counts. So you're breathing into your belly and into your baby. You can either breathe in through the nose or through the mouth if you're feeling super congested. So whatever feels better for you. Okay, so we're just going to start. Swallow and relax your jaw. Close your eyes. Placing your hands on your belly and just focus on your breath and on your baby. Breathe into your baby. Inhale one, two, three three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently, deeply in, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently, deeply in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. 
breathe gently, deeply in. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. In. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Swallow and relax your jaw. And then just go back to your natural rhythm of breath. Just breathing in and breathing out at your own pace, the right pace for you. And then whenever you feel ready, gently come back to the room. Okay, now that you're nice and relaxed, we're just going to do one last posture today, just a restorative posture for pregnancy. I have a bolster here, but if you don't have a bolster um, in your home, you can just use um, any kind of pillow, like two pillows will work, or a, a sofa pillow will work as well. Essentially, you're just going to take this pillow, and you're going to place it like so on your mat, and then you're going to lie against it. So I'm going to bring my back like this, and I'm just going to lie back my knees out to the side and the soles of my feet together. You can also place pillows, on, if you have extra pillows, underneath your knees if you wish. I didn't do that today, but you can also do that too. And then you can just place your hands on your belly and on your baby and just take a few deep breaths together with baby. So you're just going to breathe in and gently breathe out. And again, breathe in and gently breathe out. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, just gently closing your eyes and taking a moment to connect with your baby. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. With each inhale, and each exhalation, just connecting more and more with each breath with your baby. Think that, imagine that your baby has a little highway of light that connects from his heart or her heart to your heart. And with each inhalation, that highway of light gets stronger and brighter. And with each exhalation, you just both release any stress that you might be feeling. On your inhale, the highway of light becomes brighter. On the exhale, just releasing any tension or anything that doesn't serve either of you. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. With each inhalation, this highway of light becomes so bright that both of you are completely immersed in light together. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. And just allow yourself to rest in love and in light with your baby for a few moments, letting everything go, allowing nothing else to matter, allowing you to just relax in love and light with your baby.